Good morning, good morning. It is Monday. It's hard on Monday, right? 6 a.m. Monday morning. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. If all I need you to do for me on this morning, if you don't mind, uh, is share the live video if you can. You can do it at the end when we get done and the video actually posts. Um, also, uh, make sure you like the video. Uh, invite someone if you don't mind. And um, let's get ready for day eight. We're in week two. This is the start of week two. We had a great week one, a strong finish. And now let's start off week two uh, really strong on today. Uh, look how I, I, I have to say this because the enemy is just trying to, he's working on this morning. He ain't got in my speaker. I can't play my music. Um, I'm going to get another one today because he don't want nobody to hear this song because somebody needs to hear this song this morning that there is no, no way. There is no other way. I, you can't do this without him. There is no way. And my other song on today, Pastor reminded us, and I'm going to still play it anyway, and you can, we're going to strain and hear it, but it's in the room. Whatever you're looking for on this, on today, this week, uh, that's our theme song this week, is that it's in the room. The blessing is right in the room. Uh, what you're looking for is in the room. The breakthrough is in the room. The healing is in the room. The comfort is in the room. Reassurance is in the room. Deliverance is in the room. I I can't stress it enough. Now, no pastor told us that on yesterday, but it's right there in the room. Whatever we're looking for is right in the room. Amen. So it's in the room. Put that in the comments on this morning. There is no way, and it's in the room, y'all. It's in the room. I needed that this morning. I needed that this morning. Good morning, Sister Marilyn. Sister Christine, good morning. Teresa Green, thank you for joining us on this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to my mother, Terrell or not. Sister Ernette, good morning. Good morning to you. I love you. Good morning. Sister Lisa, good morning. I can live without you. Thank you, God. That song get me every time. Amen. Let's go ahead and, and get started, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started. We're day eight. We're on day eight. We're on day eight. And today's uh, uh, devotion on this morning says, no more waiting. We are not going to wait any longer. There is no more waiting on today. No more waiting. And our um, key scripture on this morning ladies is I told you yesterday we're going to be talking about john chapter 5 uh 2 through 9 and this is so familiar to us because we just recently had our our bible study on on this about the man laying by the pool in bethesda right the five porches um in uh jerusalem at the time because there was um a feast going on at the time okay so i'll just like when we get in our bible study i'm going to remind you of the scene so you can be mindful of what this may have looked like nor on a normal day there were a couple hundred people laying around the pool but at this particular day there may have been thousands because a festival a feast was going on at this time and so you got many people who were coming uh to come to this pool for healing because they believed that when the water was stirred uh that there was healing that was taking place and there was because we, as a reminder um history tells us um when we go and research this theologians tell us that underneath this pool was actually a mediterranean spring and if you've been to hot springs we know that people go there because they find they find some type of comfort in their health uh some type of comfort uh that leads them to believe that they are being healed as well so a spring would come up and when that spring would come up, they would say the angels were stirring the water and they would get in the pool. But this on this this particular day, Jesus meets this man here who has been laying by the pool for 38 long years. We don't know his name. Uh, we do know that he has not been able to walk. He's been laying at this pool for 38 years on a mat on a mat. 
so we can only imagine what his body looks like what the condition it may be in at this time but on today today is our day eight day and i'm gonna read this to you today we want to encourage you and build you up on today each day is filled with new possibilities to make major moves in our lives to make some major moves in our lives and today is another chance to move past anything that you're struggling with whether it's fear uh, low self-esteem uh, you're you're struggling with depression you're just struggling with the stress of life um, you're struggling with doubt you know we talked about unforgiveness over the weekend if you're struggling with those things today is the day that we're gonna start making some moves we want to share I want to share with you the scripture I'm gonna read this to you this is the King James Version on this morning <clears throat> On this morning um, it, Teresa Clark good morning to you it says now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches in these lay a great multitude of invalid check out that word invalid invalid folk of blind lame paralyzed waiting for the moving of the water for an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had and a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years and when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been uh, now a long time in that condition he said unto him will you be made whole but look how he answered the invalid man answered him sir I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool but while I am coming another steps down before me excuses Jesus said unto him rise take up your bed and walk and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and that same day was the Sabbath listen after 38 years this man meets Jesus the answer is right in front of him he's been focused on the water this entire time but the answer is right in front of him and he lets him know when he asks him do you want to be made whole now before we go straight into the getting up on off your bed and walking uh, when I was reading this again on last night I was like uh, there has to be something more that you want for us to to see here because we we've, we've done this this scripture at least three times in our women's um, Bible study uh, devotion over the past two years and he's there's this one word I want you to type in the comments right now so before we get to the restoration of the restoring of the man's uh, ability to walk let's talk about preservation on this morning man I want you to put that that word in the comments for me the word is preservation 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 because what we real what we see is this man has been laying in this sick environment um, on this bed on this mat for 38 long years his condition is that he is first it says he was invalid it says these people were invalid we're not I want to tell you that you are not in, invalid but you are valid but we see that God had preserved him for 38 long years 38 long years he's been there laying on a mat for 38 years no ability to walk uh, using excuse after excuse not to move no one's here to help me I can't do it by myself I may, maybe I'll try it again on tomorrow uh, maybe maybe somebody else will just come and show pity on me and just push me over into the pool but while he's while he's laying there on this bed of affliction God preserves him and that's a reminder of me on, reminders to me on today and for you that when people look at us we they, they don't even they can't even uh, see what we've been through right and that that's that's what I thought of when I saw that when I read about this man again on last night because he got up and he started walking when he when people saw him they just all they could say was who did this like you don't even look the same anymore because all we remember is from you laying on the mat so he didn't look like what he had been through and we praise God for that on this morning that I don't look like what I've been through because God preserved me. He preserved me. When I was going through whatever I was going through, he still preserved me 
kept preserving my heart, kept preserving my mind. He preserved my body uh, until I became uh, the woman or started walking in to his, uh, the purpose that he has on my life because I don't look like what I've been through. Listen, when I saw some of y'all on yesterday, Lisa, I don't know what you have been through, but whatever you've been through, you sure don't look like it, Sister Marilyn. And you can put that in the comments. I'm glad I don't look like what I've been through. So we saw preservation there before we saw the, res the restoration on this morning. Amen. And yes, Lisa, I don't look like what I've been through. You don't even look like whatever you're going through right now. So we thank God for preservation, for, for keeping us, uh, because he knows what he has put on the inside of us. So we thank God for the preservation of this man. But after the preservation, then we see the restoration, right? We see the restoration. And that's where he tells the man, do you want to be made whole? And of course, he comes with a new excuse. Well, you know, and he's looking at the water. Every time I try to get in, somebody gets in front of me. Nobody's here to help me. And Jesus says to him, rise, take up your mat, the very thing you've been laying on. Take it up and I want you to walk. And this man got up and walked. And it reminded me of everything he had been, he had been through in the 38 years if we look at the next scripture i want to relate this to is joel 2 and 25 joel 2 and 25 if you can put that scripture in the comments where it says i will restore the years i will restore the years he had been laying there for 38 long years now god jesus comes to him and tells him to rise take up your mat and walk and everything um that he had had not been able to do in 38 years everything that he had missed out on god restored that for him right then and there and he wants to remind us on this morning that i will restore your time i will restore your time it said in joel 2 25 that the locusts had came and had started eating the harvest and if you know anything about locusts what they do is they start out small and then they begin to multiply and what happens is they start to eat at the harvest and as they continue to go through the harvest what happens is they continue to multiply until until it's so many of them that they have taken everything away and there have been some locusts in our lives y'all while god was preserving us that was eating away at everything we had they were trying to eat away at our sanity trying to eat away at our minds eat away at our peace eat away at our joy but god says on today a woman of god as you are walking into your destiny letting go releasing those things so that you can uh, fulfill my purpose I will restore your time I'm going to restore your time on today and that's what he's telling us this morning no more waiting you don't have to wait anymore you don't have to wait anymore if you would just rise and walk I will not only have I preserved you for a time as this but I'm going to restore your time I am going to restore your time amen I'm going to restore your time. I'm going to read this for you uh, from our devotion on this morning. Uh, we wait and wait and wait on every other option but our faith in God. We wait on money. We wait on people. We wait on positions. And we wait on titles. No more waiting. Uh, no, um, no more waiting on this morning. None of that matters when you have faith. That's exactly why Jesus asked him first and foremost, will you be made whole? This was a faith check on this morning Jesus was checking his faith do you believe it can happen do you believe the impossible can happen in your life I believe it I know I believe it because he is restoring my time and it says on today make this your no more waiting day I will no longer wait God has preserved me uh, God is restoring my time so I'm not going to continue to make excuses for the things that I need to get done I'm going to start. Remember, we got to stop talking our faith and start walking our faith. No more waiting because winners don't wait. Winners walk. No more waiting by the pool for a handout or something to magically fall into your lap. On this morning, ladies, use your faith. Get up from where you are and start walking. Faith without works is dead and a dream without action is just a wish. Don't spend this day 
Don't spend this day wishing you would have done one thing or another. Just do it. No more waiting. I need you to get up and walk amen if you don't mind go ahead and put your um prayer request in the comments on this morning yes put your uh, prayer request in the comments on this morning um this is not the time to be waiting uh this is our time to really start walking and, and that's why we do these 21 days because sometimes we need that nudge we need that push um for to remind us that if we've been sitting too long or, or just waiting on something um it's time to stop it's time for us to stop so we just got to get up and start walking in our faith he says i preserved you so now just walk in it and while you're walking in it i'm going to restore everything i'm going to restore your joy i'm going to restore your peace i'm going to restore your finances i'm going to restore i'm going to restore that relationship i'm going to restore i will restore because everything that you thought the locusts were eating away at i'm going to restore it so no more waiting on this morning amen amen um go ahead and make your prayer request known on on this morning and uh while you're doing that we're going to go ahead and uh, go to God in prayer on this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today, this morning first, giving you praise and honor that you are due. Lord, we come to you this morning saying thank you, God. Thank you for being who you are, a God of, of, of second chances, of of not just second chances but chances over and over a giving god a god who gives and blesses over and over a faithful god who is faithful to the unfaithful people on this morning god we say thank you god we thank you for uh always extending your grace god we thank you for your uh your mercy on this on this day god lord we thank you for not giving us what we what we truly deserve god we thank you on this morning lord now lord we ask on this morning that um you you do exactly what you said you were going to do in the in your word god that you're going to restore us on this morning god restore our minds god uh restore our hearts god we're looking for restoration in our health on this morning god some of us are are dealing with some health issues God so restore our bodies uh, to a healthy condition on this morning God our arms our legs um, our our um, our hearts God uh, some of us are dealing with back issues God just restore our bodies on this morning God Lord we're looking for restoration in our minds God we're looking for peace for comfort God uh, restore our sanity on this mind on this morning God uh, remind us that our minds should be solely set on you on this morning God that's where we will find our true restoration on this morning God is through you uh, Lord restore our our um, our families on this morning God uh, bring our families back together God husbands and wives mothers and daughters uh, mothers and sons fathers and sons on this morning God uh, just restore our families this morning God anything that we are harboring on this morning God that we remove it we release it we let it go because nothing that we hold on to is not as important as you are in our lives so on this morning god allow us to release it allow us to let it go on this morning god listen god on some yesterday you reminded us through our through the word that whatever we're looking for whatever we're seeking whatever we're pursuing whatever we're chasing down it's right there in the room god so on this morning god we're asking for that breakthrough to be in the room on today god we're asking for comfort to be in the room on today god God. Lord, we're asking for financial blessings to be in the room on today, God. We're asking for healing and deliverance and redemption to be in the room on today, God. Lord, we continue to lift up our sister Christine Nims on today, God. We're asking, God, we're asking you in your name for complete healing in her body, God. We lift up Sister Lawana Dickerson on this morning, God. You know what she stands in need of, and we're asking for it in your name on today, God. 
God. Lord, we continue to lift up Sister Dorothy Johnson and Charlotte Tidwell and Charlie Cole on this morning, God. Sister Lucy Herschel on this morning, God. Lord, continue to keep them, God. Sustain them, God. Continue to provide for them in ways unimaginable on this morning, God. I lift up every woman on the live on today, God. You know what they're standing in need of on today, God. I ask that in your name, that if it's in your will, that you give them the desires of their heart, whatever it may be on today, God. Lord, we continue to lift up the Racy family on today, God. Be with them on today, God. Lord, we thank you, God. Give them exactly what they need in this time right now on today, God. Lord, we thank you, God. We lift you up on today, God. We give you all the honor, all glory, and all the honor and glory and the praise that you are so rightfully deserving of on today, God. Lord, we thank you, God. We love you, God. We love you. Lord, we render any ineffective, any negative thought this morning, any negative emotion that we may be feeling on today, God. We render it ineffective on today, God. Lord, thank you for the reminder that we should never wait again. We will not wait. We will walk in the purpose that you have on our lives on this morning, God. We, there will be no more waiting, God. So we release everything over to you because you said if we cast our cares on you, God, that you would care for us. That you would care for us. So we're leaning and we're depending on you today, God. Lord, we thank you, God. Be with our children on this week, God. Be with our children on this week, God. Keep them, God. Keep keep them protected in the, the schools on this week, God. Keep them protected no matter where they are on, on this week, God. We ask in your name, God. You said if we ask in your name that you would do it. So, God, we're expecting of you. We're expecting of you to be a big God on today. Lord, we thank you. We love you. And we give you all the honor, God. For you are our king, you are our high priest, God. You are our daddy. And on today, we're calling out to you. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We adore you. And we pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen, ladies, no more waiting. No more waiting. I need you to walk in that thing on today. Walk into it on today. And know that God is preserving you. He's preserving you. And he will restore back your time. He will restore back your time. So nothing will be lost. Nothing will be lost. Amen. Listen, tomorrow. Tomorrow is day nine. Tomorrow's day nine. Man, we really, we coming through, we coming through. We only got, uh, uh, it's only one more week left, y'all. And tomorrow is called We Ain't Quitting. We Ain't Quitting. It, ain't, it don't say We Ain't Quitting. I just put that in there. But we will not quit. Uh, Luke chapter 9, 61 and 62. For anybody who wants to go ahead and read our scripture for tomorrow. It's Luke chapter 9, 61 and 62. And this is a good, it's going to be another good one on tomorrow. We will not quit. I want to see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Invite someone. If you don't get a chance to invite anyone, please share the live video. If you are watching the replay and our ladies who watch via YouTube, I just want you to, I uh, just want to say thank you for your commitment. And um, you guys, I just want you to know, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And I, I want God to bless you in this fourth quarter. Uh, in in so in so many ways, um, like our scripture uh, from our script, our scripture from the sermon yesterday said that he wants to bless us abundantly, um, and he wants to do that in so many ways. And it's not just tangible things, things that we will be able to put in our hands, but he wants to bless us abundantly in all area, in all areas, every aspect of our lives. Amen. So in this twenty one days, again, I will repeat this: it's not enough just. To to hear me but I need you to really dive into your words so take these scriptures you write them down and go study them for yourselves because God has something special that he wants to say directly to you he has something special that he wants to say directly to you now you guys go and have a no more waiting day because we are not waiting anymore I love you and be blessed
And whatever you need 